marine plastic worldwide. So I'm delighted that one of our major companies is contributing to a comprehensive solution to prevent and reduce marine plastic waste. Koch's initiative is actually a part of our global effort to collaborate with key stakeholders. For example, the United States partnered with Vietnam and Thailand on an ASEAN workshop in May to highlight the impact of marine debris on sustainable fisheries and food security. We're also working in APEC to improve access to much needed waste management infrastructure financing in the region. Here in the Philippines, I'm excited that the U.S. Embassy has worked to raise awareness about plastic pollution, empower young people who are seeking solutions, and provide assistance to local organizations. There is, of course, much more to be done. We're committed to enhancing these enhanced initiatives with our Filipino partners. Such efforts include our productive work with implementing partners Save Philippine Seas and the Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative. Another great example is USAID's support for the Municipal Waste Recycling Program, a four-year, $9 million program that identifies and scales projects that improve waste management in private countries. In the Philippines, this USAID project has assisted local authorities in passing ordinances to regulate plastics, advise households on how to segregate waste, and implement a model for the zero waste, sorry, sorry, store, that would allow consumers to buy essential products packaged in non-plastic materials. The U.S. is honored to work with our Philippine partners, including government agencies, civil society, and the private sector to address these challenges. During my time here as ambassador, I've had the privilege of seeing firsthand the stunning beauty of the Philippines. So I am personally committed to doing all we can to protect and preserve the ocean for future generations. Congratulations again to Coca-Cola, and thank you to all of you for your partnership and dedication. Salam.